Hey guys, in this video, I'll be teaching you how to make a web app using the Numbers API so you could fetch data through the um, actual Im information that you're giving, which is the numbers. So you could get it from years and uh, dates as well. Uh, you could use this API to add and stuff, but we're going to be using it to fetch data. So if I want to get, so this is the demo website we have. If I click on year, it will give us a description of the year saying that and trivia and the number so with that said let's just get started i have the basic html loaded up because i don't want to waste time on the ui um you can copy that it will be in the description it will be in the github page i'm using bootstrap 4 and let's get started with the app.js for the app.js i've got all the variables set up because um, that will also take much time and uh, after that we want to add event listeners for everything um, for trivia so basically I'll just explain what's going on uh, we have a jumbotron which is just like a header and it says enter number in your description which is where the number the description will be going we have the input field here which is where we get the input from the user uh, which is a number or anything so here we have a container with some buttons bootstrap buttons uh, which will just uh, let the user click on if he wants a year or number or trivia so that's what we are gonna take so we are gonna add event list first for all three based on what he clicks we are gonna give the output so uh, trivia is the first one I uh, hope it's going well so on click you wanna listen for a click and here I wanna say fetch trivia uh, I'll just duplicate that I'll say fetch year we, are gonna, we wanna get the year as well and fetch num and here I wanna make it for year and here for the number and now let's start on with the functions function fetch trivia first and then for the first one we want to add an event listener for the input and for each and every input we want to run the function for fetch trivia and we want to make a variable for the input value so that we can get the input uh, as a live live I would say sorry we need the value and after that we want to now fetch it so first of all let's try it and after that let's catch the data if there's any error um, so after that what I want to do is fetch http numbers api dot com slash and I want to concatenate it with the input value so basically what it's doing is it's uh, getting the API it will fetch it from the uh, API and then it will concatenate it with the input and then I'm gonna concatenate it again um, with slash trivia so we get the current trivia's description so it returns two promises first one is the response uh, response which I will make it equal to response dot text and after that the second one I'm sorry there's error here we don't need that second promise second promise re uh, returns the data itself so we can get it it returns a curly braces and uh, inside that I want to make the h1 which is this equal to the number that the user is typing html equals in html equals the value and then the p tag i want to make it equal to the actual data so it's as simple as that uh, if there is any error we want to console dot log error as simple as that um, so that should do it for the fetch trivia after we want it for fetch year and fetch um, num so I'm just gonna name it rename it 
uh, it should be mm, it should just be the input value I think uh, let me check the API numbers API slash it should be slash math because we are getting the math format of whatever the user is importing dot slash math uh, I wanna say fetch num for this and now fetch year if it's fetch year right yeah it's fetch year and even here I wanna put fetch year and here instead of trivia we need year um i think it should work this should be changed to response.txt um let me change that i'm not sure if it's correct with the normal response so um, i'll go live on the live server i hope it's working this time because uh yeah so if i want to get the description of 2019 i click on 2019 um what's that uh okay response is not defined we have a dot then and um it should be response i'm sorry for that error i'm sorry if there is an error uh, by this error because i'm also learning so sorry if there's an error so 2019 i want to get the year can i get year 2019 slash year um what if i type trivia so if i copy that and uh, it's always an error it's good to have it as I think to help move on I think move on because I rarely run into it uh, so should work now 2019 and if we click on the year yeah that's working let me cut this it's working click on trivia it's a boring number number then it's around so one thing i, I want to do is we want to make uh, the person who is using know if it's a trivia or a year or anything which will make it easy for the user so let's concatenate it with the name trivia so here I'll concatenate with the name uh, num so we know it's the number that the um, API is giving so here I'll say year um, it should work so if I click year 2019 trivia and now yeah so it's completely working and I think it's completely responsive too because we are using bootstrap um, and that's about for the video hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one bye